Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. So in the past two videos, we learned how we can create a complete button component with a lot of variants that we can use through our design system. So let's test it out. So I have the, from the assets, I'm gonna just drag and drop the primary button here. And as you can see, we have different um, variants like left, uh, right, left justify, right justified, or icon only. This state can be hover, focused, um, active, also disabled, and we have the pill style. Let's go back to no icon. Then we have the outline. We have different sizes, medium, and from extra small, small, medium, large, and extra large, and also we can change the label of the bottom. And I'll put the uh, link to the playlist down in the description, which um, it all also includes all other videos about how you can create a complete design system from scratch. So make sure to follow that. And in this video, which I think it's gonna be uh, also divided in parts, how we can create a text input and how we can basically manage inputs in, in our design system. So since it's gonna be super long, um, let's, Go right ahead again just like the buttons i have prepared a sheet that uh, it shows me what i need basically so i created this earlier and <clears throat> sorry we need a placeholder we need the actual input uh, content uh, like the text and we need a hint uh, also we need some icons both left and right that's going to be optional and we also need the state the states are going to be default hover typing field, error, success, and disabled. We also are gonna have another style of our input, which is gonna be underline, and then we have sizes. Obviously, I didn't include the extra small and extra large because that's very uh, unlikely to be used. So I'm just gonna have the small, medium, and large. And remember, I am aligning the height of my inputs the same as my icons. So the, my large one is gonna be 64, my medium is gonna be 50, uh, 56, and the small one is gonna be 48. And the style of this input, basically this input is gonna be the same as the one that Apple uses. You know, it, I, I use it because it's kind of, it really looks good, so I'm just gonna use the same. So let's go ahead and create it immediately. I'm gonna create a text, I'm gonna hit T on the keyboard and create a text, call it, um, placeholder actually let's drag this all down so I, I can see all right I'm gonna change the text um, textile to body 10 and change the color to I think subtitle yeah then I'm gonna duplicate this place it here and then I'm gonna change its size, actually, yeah, it's font size to 14. Again, body, body 20, which you can see it's 14. And then I'm gonna change the um, text to body, right? Uh, first, we're gonna create the selected state, actually the, the, the typing state, or then we can continue. All right, then I'm gonna select these. Actually, let's change it to content so we can differentiate. So I'm gonna select both these and hit Shift A on keyboard. Uh, I created an auto layout out of it. And now what I'm gonna do is create a component out of this one. All right, I'm gonna call it input. I, I'll rename it when I want to organize everything in my design system. And now um, let's go ahead and create two Two text. One is gonna be placeholder. The other one is, and let's call it placeholder. And the other one is gonna be content. And again, I'm gonna name it content. You're gonna change this when designing. And now let's connect them. So here, connect this placeholder to placeholder and connect cont content to content. All right, uh, first I'm gonna create the medium one, then we're gonna go up. But before doing so, let's add two icons here. So um, I'm gonna add two icons. Let's search 
um, for one is calendar I think this one and the other one is close all right now I'm gonna cut these and paste it inside of here and let's create another auto layout out of this one so we can align it auto layout but again shift a and let's set the alignment to the left and right so it's horizontal and set the alignment to the center and actually I'm gonna move this to the left set the spacing between them actually the gap to 8 pixels I'm gonna select it from my variables all right I was also gonna change the color of my icons to something like um, something I'm gonna make it same as the placeholder so yeah that's it and what I'm gonna do is add a background color to this one so I'm gonna go with the surface a default subtle yep something like that and now I'm gonna set some spacing to it so the, since it's gonna be my um, medium it should be matched its height should be matched to this one so it's gonna be 56 right and we need uh, padding from top and bottom so right now it's 40 so we need 16 to be 16 paddings in total to be 56 so in in the in this section which is the vertical padding I'm gonna go to my variables and find the one that is 16 pixels actually 8 pixels because that uh, multiplies uh, actually yeah that adds up sorry so let's go ahead and select this one and now as you can see my input my medium input is the same height as my button so we can use it throughout our design uh, in order to have consistency and now let's add some horizontal padding too I'm gonna go with 16 maybe that's a bit too much but no no that's okay or 12 let's see how it goes actually 16 was better yeah you can change it in your design but I, I like it the way it is also let's set the um, let's set the actually some corner radius I'm gonna go with 12 yep that looks good and again create um, instant swap so the first one is gonna be left icon I'm gonna pick an instant it's gonna be calendar create property and again instant swap is gonna be right icon I'm gonna pick instant it's gonna be close all right and now let's connect the R icons to our um, related instant swap all right one another you know another thing I need to do here is to set the height set the width of this one to fill con container so whenever I like reduce and and increase and decrease the width of this one um, the spacing gets updated and I don't need to worry about the X icon or the right icon to be left out here so let's just uh, keep that in mind yeah it's gonna be fill actually let's set the set set the width for it it's gonna be I think 343 something like that yeah you can change in your design you know I, it's just I want to show the drop down actually the inputs in a way all right that's it for the medium now let's go ahead so we we, we are missing the hint so let's go ahead and create actually I'm gonna copy this one paste it here and what I'm gonna do is um, create an create an auto layout out of it so actually let's go ahead and create the icon alignment first so I'm gonna add variant the variant is called icon icon alignment yep and then what I'm gonna do is just maybe yeah, increase the size of this one and let's just duplicate this one one here remember we have no icon 
left icon, right icon, and both. So we have we need four. Another one here, and another one here. The last one is going to be both. Uh, before that, it's going to be the right icon, right, left, and the first one is going to be none. And since we connected all of these, all of the icons to our instant swap, we don't need to worry about like removing them. So let's just remove this. This is going to be left. Let's remove this one. This is going to be right. Remove this one. And this is going to be both, which has them all. All right. Uh, we are, we created basically placeholder content icon alignment. And this, this one left icon, right icon and yeah in the next video i'm gonna show you how you can add hints on the line style and how you can create different sizes and actually the the states so stay tuned for the next one i, I know it's gonna be a long tutorial but it's just something we need to go through in detail all right make sure to like the video please uh, leave a comment and subscribe to the channel That'd be huge help. And also make sure to do, check out the other videos which I showed you how you can create um, different parts of the design system, effects, color tokens, variables, typography system, color palettes, etc. And yeah, that's it. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.